Hi, my name is Daniel Westbrook and today we're going to be working on this historic home where we're going to actually be cutting off some rafter tails that are rotten and installing fascia. So you can see the decay on the rafters here and of course this used to have a wooden gutter here and this rafter used to extend out to hold the old wooden gutter. At some point it was cut off and aluminum gutters were applied directly to these rafters. Well that's why we have this decay here is from those aluminum gutter spikes into the end grain of this wood. So the first thing we're going to do is find the slope of the roof and we're just going to use a level for that, make a plumb line, and then I'm just simply going to use my angle finder to find the angle and this will just be my marking tool after we get our string line set to mark all the, the rafters all the way down. This is essentially becomes our straight edge. When you do a string line, it's you just loop it over one, two, three, over that nail. You can see that now I can just tighten this up. So this line is tight now. See that? I'll just bring that over that. I'm on my line there, and I'm on my line right there. Okay, so the next step is to cut the rafter tails off. Now as you can see, we're not going to be able to use a skill saw because it's just going to hit the soffit uh, as we're doing our cuts. So the best thing that I've seen, and I've, we, there's a lot of different ways to do it, is I'm just going to use my, my jigsaw, our kick around jigsaw, to start the cut and get it as far up as I can, and then we'll finish it out with a sawzall. See how much of that decay we're cutting off? That's why we're doing it this way. Our next tool is going to be a sawzall. So I'm going to use a sawzall to finish off the cuts on these rafter tails up into the soffit. So our next step now is going to be to take our fascia and we're going to rip it down. Now the reason why we're going to rip down the top of our fascia, if you come with me and I'm going to show you that we have our angle finder. So we know that that's the angle of our rafters, right? So I have set my skill saw to the angle. You can see the angle of the blade right there. All right, and I've also set my uh, guide. This is what this is, is a guide. And I'll set it on the piece of fascia that we're gonna cut and I'll show you what I'm doing. Test it. Take a look at this gap right here. Well, we're tied on either end, so this essentially has sagged, but what has really sagged is the gable and fascia on either side because it doesn't have any support. Well, this fascia is now going to give it some support. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start installing this from the middle. Okay, so you can see all the work that we did in setting up a string line, marking all of our lines, cutting these precisely, and also ripping the top of the fascia. You can see how straight this is. You can also see how tight everything is on the back side. And not only that, but the fascia now cantilevers out and it supports the gable end fascia and it has a nice uh, when, we, when we screw that together, it's going to have a really nice joint. And this whole system will hold together for many years to come. My name is Daniel Westbrook, and we'll talk to you soon.
Bye now.